too lazy to do the right thing. Right now, Pinellas County deputies are calling out and locking up people trying to pull a fast one as contractors without licenses. News Channel A's Corey Davis joining us live in St. Petersburg. He's off 54th Avenue North with this story. Corey. Hey, Keith, good evening. Well, the sheriff is telling us that there are proper ways to go about working as a legitimate contractor, and they say if you don't, they'll set up fake locations like this one and then send you off to jail. Carted off to jail one by one, some with their faces covered, too embarrassed to look up. Nearly 30 people locked up, accused of talking the talk with nothing to show for it. Right now, we can do these every day, and, and we'd probably get the same results. All of them exposed during Operation Flushout, showing up at this vacant business after seeing ads online for things like electrical work, drywall, and painting. During this whole operation all weekend long, not one person showed up that was legit. Antonio Signoretti works doors away from where the bus went down and noticed something strange. To me, it was very suspicious that this car was just sitting there all weekend long for hours upon hours just sitting inside the car. Turns out undercover deputies were in that car, and now Signoretti understands he's fully on board with what happened. What goes around comes around, in my opinion, and it's a bad reflection on other contractors that, uh, work hard for what they do and actually take the time to go get the licenses, go get what they need to get in order to get the job done the right way. And right now the sheriff is telling us that they are expecting to make more arrests. Some advice for people out there is they say to ask to see the contractor's license and to be sure that they actually have insurance as well before letting them do business in your home or business. Live in St. Pete, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.